The wind howled through the bare trees, carrying with it the bone-chilling cold of December. The small town of Dunbridge lay silent under a thick blanket of snow, its streets deserted as residents huddled in their warm homes. But for Austin, the quietude of the winter night was shattered by a mysterious phone call that left him restless. As the clock struck midnight, Austin's phone rang, breaking the serene silence of his apartment. Groggily, he answered, only to hear a raspy voice whisper, You can't escape the shadows, Austin. They're watching you. The cryptic message sent shivers down his spine, leaving him both bewildered and uneasy. Trying to dismiss it as a prank, Austin went about his routine, but the feeling of being watched lingered. Days turned into nights, and each time the phone rang, the voice returned with ominous warnings. Austin's nerves were frayed, and he started avoiding the windows, half expecting to see shadowy figures lurking in the dark. One frigid evening, as Austin walked through the desolate streets, he felt an eerie presence closing in. The soft crunch of snow beneath his boots seemed to synchronize with a distant whisper. Desperation etched across his face, Austin quickened his pace, but the whispers persisted, growing louder and more insistent. In a moment of panic, he turned into an alley, seeking refuge from the unseen tormentor. The narrow path was lined with frost-covered bricks, and the dim glow of a flickering street lamp added an eerie ambience. Austin's breath hung in the frigid air as he pressed himself against the cold wall, heart pounding in his chest. A shadow materialized at the alley's entrance, slowly inching closer. Panic surged through Austin as the figure came into view. It was a silhouette, face obscured by darkness. The raspy voice echoed once more, you can't escape, Austin. Haunted by the encounter in the alley, Austin delved into the town's history, seeking answers to the mysterious whispers that had infiltrated his life. Unbeknownst to him, Dunbridge held a chilling secret buried beneath its icy exterior. As Austin unraveled the threads of the town's past, he discovered a series of unsolved disappearances that occurred every winter over the past decades. The victims were seemingly chosen at random, their lives extinguished without a trace. The town had collectively silenced the whispers, attributing them to the cruel winter winds. Driven by a desperate need for answers, Austin unearthed an old journal in the town archives. The journal, penned by a long-forgotten resident, spoke of a malevolent force that awakened each December, claiming unsuspecting souls. The whispers, the shadows, and the disappearances were all part of a chilling cycle that had tormented Dunbridge for generations. As Austin pored over the pages, he realized that the entity fed on fear, manifesting itself in the darkest corners of the town. The journal hinted at a ritual, a way to appease the malevolent force and break the cycle. With newfound determination, Austin decided to confront the shadows head-on and put an end to the winter horrors that gripped Dunbridge. Armed with the knowledge from the journal, Austin embarked on a perilous journey through the frozen landscape. The whispers grew louder, the shadows more menacing, as he approached the heart of the town. The air became heavy with an otherworldly presence, and the temperature plummeted to an unnatural cold. As he reached the town square, Austin confronted the malevolent force, reciting the long-forgotten ritual. The air seemed to vibrate with an unseen energy, and for a moment, time stood still. The whispers faded, and the shadows retreated into the abyss. Dunbridge was enveloped in an eerie calm, the winter horror subdued by Austin's courage. The townsfolk, oblivious to the supernatural threat that had plagued them for years, continued with their lives, the chilling echoes of December fading into the distant past. Little did they know that Austin, now marked by the harrowing experience, carried the weight of the town's frozen secrets, forever changed by the winter night that had tested his resolve. Despite the apparent peace that settled over Dunbridge, Austin couldn't shake the lingering feeling that the shadows were not entirely vanquished. The townspeople, blissfully unaware of the malevolent force that had gripped their community, went about their lives, their footsteps leaving faint imprints on the snow-covered streets. As the weeks passed, Austin's nights were tormented by restless dreams, whispers echoing in the recesses of his mind. 
He became consumed by the need to understand the true nature of the entity he had faced, fearing that it might return with a vengeance. His quest for answers led him to delve deeper into the town's history, seeking clues that had eluded him before. One bitterly cold night, as the moon hung low in the sky, Austin discovered an ancient ritual buried within the pages of an obscure tongue. It spoke of a binding ceremony, a way to permanently seal the malevolent force that lurked in the winter shadows. Armed with newfound knowledge, Austin set out to confront the entity once and for all. The town square, eerily quiet in the stillness of the night, served as the battleground for Austin's final confrontation. He traced intricate symbols on the frozen ground, the cold biting into his fingers as he etched each line with unwavering determination. The air thickened with an otherworldly presence, and the whispers returned, more desperate and menacing than ever. The shadows emerged, swirling around Austin like a sinister dance. The raspy voice echoed, taunting him with promises of doom. But Austin stood resolute, reciting the incantation with unwavering conviction. The symbols glowed, casting an ethereal light that clashed against the encroaching darkness. In that critical moment, the malevolent force fought back, lashing out with all its spectral might. Austin felt the icy fingers of fear clawing at his resolve, but he pressed on. The town square became a battleground of wills, a clash between the courage of one man and the ancient malevolence that had plagued Dunbridge for generations. As the final words of the incantation left Austin's lips, the shadows recoiled, a howling wind sweeping through the town square. The binding ritual took hold, sealing the malevolent force within the very fabric of the town itself. The air cleared, and the oppressive cold lifted, replaced by a newfound warmth that thawed the winter-ridden streets. Dunbridge, now liberated from the clutches of the malevolent force, woke to a new dawn. The townsfolk, oblivious to the battle that had raged in the shadows, carried on with their lives. But for Austin, the echoes of that winter night lingered, a chilling reminder of the price paid to free Dunbridge from its frozen nightmare. As the seasons changed and winter returned, Austin watched over the town, forever vigilant. The shadows may have been banished, but the scars of that cold December night ran deep. And so, he stood as a silent guardian ready to face whatever horrors lurked in the depths of the winter darkness, ensuring that Dunbridge would never again succumb to the icy grip of malevolence. Claire shivered as the cold December wind whipped through the barren trees, sending skeletal branches scraping against her bedroom window. The moon cast an eerie glow on the snow-covered landscape outside. It was a night that seemed to hold secrets, and Claire couldn't shake the feeling that something unsettling was about to unfold. As she lay in bed, wrapped in layers of blankets, a faint scratching sound echoed from the attic above. She dismissed it as the usual noises old houses make, but a nagging sense of unease crept over her. Ignoring the chill that ran down her spine, Claire forced herself to close her eyes, hoping to drift into a peaceful slumber. However, her dreams were soon invaded by haunting images. Shadowy figures dancing in the snow, their faces obscured by the darkness. She awoke with a start, perspiration clinging to her forehead. The scratching in the attic had intensified, now accompanied by the occasional thud. Determined to shake off her unease, Claire descended the creaking stairs, clad in her warmest winter robe. The frigid air clung to her as she cautiously approached the attic door. With trepidation, she pushed it open. The sight that greeted her froze the blood in her veins. A trail of frost led to a forgotten corner, where a worn, leather-bound book lay open. Claire's hands trembled as she read the chilling words scrawled on the pages, a tale of a winter long ago, when the cold held a sinister power over the souls of those who dared to challenge its might. Claire's heart pounded in her chest as she absorbed the ominous words from the ancient book. The tale spoke of a pact made in desperation, a covenant with an otherworldly force that promised warmth and survival in exchange for a sacrifice. The chilling wind outside seemed to whisper the names of those who had sealed their fate in the coldest depths of winter. Determined to unravel the mystery, 
Claire delved into the history of her ancestral home. Old photographs revealed stoic faces staring into the camera, their eyes holding secrets that transcended time. As she traced her family tree, she discovered a recurring pattern. Every few decades, a member of her lineage had vanished without a trace during the harshest winter months. Haunted by the realization that her family had been entwined in a sinister covenant, Claire's investigation led her to an ancient cellar hidden beneath the house. The air grew colder as she descended the rickety stairs, her breath forming misty clouds in the darkness. In the heart of the cellar, Claire uncovered a cryptic symbol etched into the frozen ground. The walls echoed with whispers of past sacrifices, and the air seemed to thicken with malevolence. As she touched the symbol, a bone-chilling vision seized her generations of her ancestors, their faces etched in agony as they willingly succumbed to the icy grip of the covenant. Terrified but resolute, Claire understood that breaking the cycle required a sacrifice of her own. The wind howled outside as she made the grim decision to confront the ancient force that held her family in its icy clutches. With the book clutched in her hands, Claire recited an incantation, pleading for release from the frozen covenant. The temperature plummeted, and the cellar seemed to absorb the darkness within. A spectral figure materialized, its eyes gleaming with a frigid intensity. I offer myself willingly, Claire whispered, her breath visible in the freezing air. The figure hesitated, as if testing her resolve. A moment later, a blinding light enveloped the cellar, and the weight of the covenant lifted. As the temperature rose, the whispers ceased, and Claire emerged from the cellar exhausted but free from the shackles of her family's dark history. The wind outside had transformed into a gentle breeze, and the snow-covered landscape now held a serene beauty. Yet, as Claire looked back at her ancestral home, she couldn't shake the lingering feeling that the winter nights would forever carry the echoes of the chilling pact that had bound her family for generations. The following days passed with an uneasy calm. Claire tried to resume her normal life, but the weight of the revelation hung over her like a lingering frost. Despite the newfound warmth in her home, she couldn't shake the feeling that the icy specter still watched from the shadows. One evening, as Claire sat by the fireplace, a soft knock echoed through the house. Startled, she opened the door to find an elderly woman with piercing blue eyes standing on her doorstep. The stranger's breath formed frosty puffs in the cold air, and her voice carried a haunting familiarity. Your sacrifice has broken the chains that bound us, the woman whispered. But remember, winter's embrace is eternal. The covenant may be broken, but its echoes will forever linger. With those cryptic words, the old woman vanished into the night, leaving Claire unsettled and contemplative. As the winter nights passed, the memories of the chilling pact faded, but an intangible connection lingered, like a ghostly whisper in the wind. Years went by, and Claire, now a matriarch herself, watched as the seasons changed. Each winter, she felt the subtle presence of her ancestors, a reminder of the sacrifices that had secured her family's survival. The ancient book, kept safely locked away, became a testament to the resilience that ran through generations. One cold December night, as Claire sat by the same attic window that had once rattled with ghostly scratches, she saw her breath fogging the glass. The moon cast its glow over the snow-covered landscape, and for a moment, she felt a spectral embrace, a connection that transcended time and space. The echoes of winter's embrace were now a part of her family's legacy, a story whispered through the ages. Claire embraced the inevitability of the chilling season, knowing that within its frosty grip lay the strength of those who had faced the cold head-on and emerged scared but unbroken. And so, as the snow fell gently outside, Claire closed her eyes, feeling the weight of her family's history settle around her like a comforting blanket. The wind carried the echoes of a chilling past, but within the warmth of her home, the fire burned bright, a testament to the resilience that had conquered the icy tendrils of a haunted legacy.